Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This is gonna be a reading for the month of November. It's gonna be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. And let's just jump right in for Capricorn. All right, angels, guide, messages, guidance, please for Capricorn. We're going to love. 2022, what do we need to know? Messages, guys. For Capricorn. Okay. Feels good. We have Strength, Leo Energy, Four of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Interesting. Um, current energies. I feel like there's some sort of message coming in with the Knight of Swords. We'll have to see what that's all about when we clarify. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, the three of wands. So this is all about kind of waiting for uh, a message back or a result. Um, you've already kind of taken initial steps and you're just kind of like waiting for the outcome or for your ships to come in. This could also be a energy about kind of waiting for some sort of confirmation before you keep going so let's get some energy oracles out here spirit tell me more about the energies for capricorn in love what are the energies for capricorn in love happy ending you have achieved absolute happiness and fulfillment abundance joy fulfillment love that so it's kind of like my Ten of Cups card here in this deck. What else? What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn regarding energies? Inner voice. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. Listening to your heart here, to what your mind or what your inner voice is kind of illuminating you on. Because sometimes... We have to dig deep and really listen to our gut instinct, our, our, what our inner voice or our heart really tells us. And there's a lot of distractions that can keep us from getting that answer or that illumination, right? I want to get one more. I feel like your intuition is guiding you towards this happy ending, but I'm trying to figure out what this could be about. Is this like love? partnership abundance coming in what else for Capricorn this one wow new beginnings you're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start so I feel like something is shifting here for you Capricorn some sort of new cycle um, bless uh, beginnings a new day journey are the key words here so there's something growing something that is new coming in and I feel like it's going to, yeah, Bountiful Harvest is at the bottom of the deck. So um, plant your seeds, watch them grow, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. I feel like you're being rewarded in a way because you've listened to your heart or your intuition. And it's, again, it's leading you towards a new cycle that is very abundant, very happy, very fulfilling. And I love that energy for you. So let's see what else we get here when we clarify. Uh, if you're interested in that deck, that's my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. All of the decks that I use are listed in the description box, and I f they're basically um, on my website, so you can kind of access them through there. All right, so let's get some insight, some clarity for Capricorn Spirit. Tell us more. Tell us more for Capricorn. What do we need to know about these energies? These energies. Let's start with this Three of Wands because this is kind of the overall energy. What's this Three of Wands about? Some of you might have been patiently waiting for this to come in for you. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Wow, Ace of Cups. Are you kidding me? Tell me more for Capricorn. What is this three of wands about? 
Knight of Wands. Oh, yeah. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, beautiful. This is beautiful. This is definitely something coming in for you. And it's coming in quickly. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. They're the fastest knights. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight. But really, when I see them with like the Knight of Wands and like the Ace of Cups, which is, you know, an energy about abundance, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, it's almost like something's coming in that is very quick but it's also stable if that makes sense so it could be for example a job offer um but with the knight of pentacles it's like that job offer will lead to better things or it's something you worked on over time if this is a love offer which it very well can be with the ace of cups it might have started very passionate very quickly it might have you know moved very quickly but there is stability at the same time you know that kind of energy so we have leo energy here with the strength card what's this about why is strength here six of wands oh my god what is happening tell me about strength Tell me about strength. Why is strength here? Page of Cups? <laughs> um, I feel like I should just end this reading here. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck? What is happening? Mm. I'm getting an energy of like you hanging out in a group or being in a group setting. And someone notices you this could be someone at work at school at at um, some sort of gathering they're interested in you right away you could be dealing with an uh, a Leo or a fire sign of some sort but I'm getting that whoever this is it's almost like I don't want to say a possessive energy, but it's like they want you and only you. What is happening? Very bold, maybe, in their approach. Or just like they, they, they're, um, they know what they want and how to get it. Tell me about strength. Can I get one more? For strength. Can you tell me about strength? King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be talking to someone. And there's the Chariot. Cancer Energy. The Chariot is on the path to success. They're moving quickly. Another card about moving quickly. I think this is, this for a lot of you, this is someone new. And it moves fast. Because they're not messing around. King of Swords, Page of Cups. Not only are they interested in you emotionally, but it's also very honest and open communication. No BS here. <clears throat> Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Ah, oh, my cards. Why is the Four of Swords here? For Capricorn. The Moon, Pisces Energy. Okay, someone's thinking, reflecting. Because there's doubts, insecurities, or something that they maybe don't have all the answers on. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Yeah, Seven of Cups. So I feel like when this comes in for you, Capricorn, you're going to be really thinking about it. It's not something that you want to jump on right away. For some reason, maybe you need more information, or you're just unsure a lot of you are wondering if this is too good to be true something has to be wrong with this person <laughs> that kind of energy you know it's like uh this is moving very quickly but also is very stable what's the catch that's why listening to your intuition is so important that's why listening to your heart your inner voice is so important here you have to trust yourself at the same time. I feel like some of you have lost trust in your own judgment. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Tell 
Tell me about the Four of Swords. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this Four of Swords? Ten of Swords. Mm. And the Ace of Wands. I mean, I keep getting this theme on, like, so many readings lately where multiple signs are evaluating offers or hesitating on making decisions because it requires an ending. And, and it's almost like you cannot have the new beginning without this ending. Or this choice or decision has consequences that are as significant as you're ending something for good. If that makes sense. But the Ace of Wands is here. I feel like, um, and this could be that you're leaving the past in the past. This could be that you are ending a job, ending a relationship, ending a... Um, a friendship or something um, maybe you're moving places and so you're you know um, but I also am getting with this energy this ten of swords is that some of you have been really hurt in your past relationships and so now you're very hesitant to trust again but I feel like spirit is saying you you know you don't don't count yourself out You, you have what it takes to figure out, you know, and read between the lines and make the right decisions, if that makes any sense. Because I feel like my words are not really, I know what I'm thinking in my head. <laughs> I just don't know if they're, the words that I'm saying are actually doing what I'm, anyways, I know what I want to say. I just hope that it's coming across in a way that makes sense. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords about? Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, the Fool. I mean, this is this is beautiful energy. Whatever this is, Capricorn, it's going to open a new door. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. <clears throat> and the Knight of Swords is a quick message. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Swords? Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Mm. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, bottom of the deck, Death, Scorpio Energy. Okay, when I look at all of these, um, energies together um, I'm getting a few messages one message that I got right away is that someone's going to be exposed that's the word exposed <laughs> and this is going to be your out like that's all you needed to know and now you're free to do whatever it is that you want to do you're free to end whatever it is you need to end <clears throat> others of you Again, I've gotten this message for other signs. It's like going after this new beginning. You might have to leave someone behind or shut someone out or be seen as the bad person. You know, you're selfish for taking that job or you're not thinking about me. You know, this job is going to move you such and such or... Um, Maybe the person that you're meeting that's coming forward, maybe it's a coworker or a boss, and then your other coworkers are like, that's not right, or something like that. But there's stability here, there's harmony here, four of wands. This also could be happening in your home life. Um, and again, the death card, an ending, a change. It, it's, it's together, they're connected. The death card with the fool. So I do get those two very different messages. Let me know if any of that resonates for you. And let's jump into the you and them energy. So I'm gonna have your energies on one side, Capricorn, and your person, their energies on the other. Can we get some insight into the person? Actually, let's just look at them. Let's just look at them. Tell me more about this person that Capricorn is, has, or, 
is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. Tell me more about this other person. If the reading is resonating for you, Capricorn, if you're enjoying how I read and you just want to support what I do um, for free, then please consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already. There are free ways of supporting the channel. They help me out a lot. Um, and of course, don't forget to leave a comment if it's resonating because I love hearing how uh, when the readings resonate. Tell me about this person that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? Spirit about this person. Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups again. Okay, Capricorn, this person, they're coming in with some sort of an offer. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. It's a big offer. It's not just, emo again, it's not just Ace of Cups, but Knight of Pentacles. So it's not just an offer that is emotionally fulfilling, but also provides stability. For some reason, they're worried or stressed out. Let's see why. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine, nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Death, Scorpio energy. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Two of Wands, interesting. They're thinking about your decision. You could you could go either way or this I don't know why are they why are they being like this? Let's get a secret moon. I'm not sure why they would be afraid to make you this offer. Or maybe they're afraid you're going to take this offer from someone else. Two of wands and death, you know? What if Scorpio, Scorpio, that's the death card. What if Capricorn decides that they're going to end things with me or that they're going to make a change in their life and I miss out? Tell me more about this person's energy that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? I have a choice to make. Hmm. I would take it all back if I could. Didn't you have a didn't you have a reading like that recently? Hmm. No, it wasn't you, it was somebody else. So, okay, this is interesting to me because now I'm understanding things a little bit better with I have a choice to make. I think there's two scenarios here that I'm like narrowing down on. For one group of you, you have a choice to make about this person and this person's remorseful for whatever reason. So maybe they are seeing you move on. Maybe they're seeing you take opportunities. Maybe they're seeing new beginnings, new doors open for you and they're scared to be left behind, but they're being left behind for a reason. This choice that you're making, it leaves them in this Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords energy. That's the first group of Capricorns. The second group of Capricorns, you know, and I hate to say this because I, it just is a running theme for Capricorns on my channel. I feel like this is someone from the past coming in to make you an offer and you have to decide if you're going to continue with the past or completely go in a different direction. For whatever reason, that decision hasn't been made yet. You're evaluating it, you're thinking about it, but you haven't made it yet. What I can tell you is you're going to be okay. I keep getting this energy for Capricorns. If this is the first time that you're watching one of my Capricorn readings, check out the playlist for Capricorns. It's linked in the description box. Just scroll all the way down in the description box and you'll see it because you've gotten so many readings on my channel for the Capricorn Collective that happens to watch me where you're going to be okay despite whatever happens. It's like you're protected in some way or the decisions you've made have set you up so that nothing can touch you. You know, you're just doing well no matter what and everybody else around you is like falling apart. 
<laughs> it's just a it's just like a a, 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 th a theme that keeps coming up um i feel like spirit is letting you know that there is a new beginning ahead and i think for some of you that's a whole new person for others of you this new beginning is just starting over somewhere new and it sets you up for abundance whatever that looks like for you um so i think the choice that you have to make is you know what path you decide to be on at the end of the day are you going to be on the path that you've been on or are you going to go in a whole different direction it's going to be up to you i feel like you're going to be okay no matter what but it's almost like spirit is reassuring you hey if you decide to go somewhere completely different capricorn you're going to be even better there or things are going to be just as good there you know that kind of energy so i'm going to take this to the extended i'm going to look at what the future energies are for you what can you expect next and then we'll take a little bit of a closer look at this person their true intentions next possible actions i feel like they're coming in with some sort of an offer or message or maybe even to beg um i'm also getting the sense that this could be the person that you left and they know you have options now for something new it's like maybe you've started dating someone new or you met someone new and they're freaking out about it because <laughs> that's what they're thinking about oh my gosh capricorn's gonna accept this person where does that leave me you know so for some reason i feel like they're kind of inserting themselves in this reading almost so we'll see a little bit more in the extended what that what this person's all about if you're curious i also want to look at this full energy and the new beginnings energy separately i want to know what that looks like for you and i feel like it's going to yeah bountiful harvest is at the bottom of the deck so um plant your seeds watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor i feel like you're being rewarded in a way because you've listened to your heart or your intuition and it's again it's leading you towards a new cycle that is very abundant very happy very fulfilling and i love that energy for you so let's see what else we get here when we clarify uh, if you're interested in that deck that's my stellar energy oracle deck all of the decks that i use are listed in the description box and i f they're basically um on my website so you can kind of access them through there all right so let's get some insight some clarity for capricorn spirit tell us more tell us more for capricorn what do we need to know about these energies these energies. let's start with this three of wands because this is kind of the overall energy what's this three of wands about some of you might have been patiently waiting for this to come in for you tell me about the three of wands why is the three of wands here wow ace of cups are you kidding me tell me more for capricorn What is this three of wands about? Knight of wands. Oh yeah. And then the knight of pentacles. Oh, beautiful. This is beautiful. This is definitely something coming in for you. And it's coming in quickly. Knight of swords, knight of wands. They're the fastest knights. The knight of pentacles is the slowest knight. But really when I see them with like the knight of wands... And like the Ace of Cups, which is, you know, an energy about abundance, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. It's almost like something's coming in that is very quick, but it's also stable, if that makes sense. So it could be, for example, a job offer. Um, but with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like that job offer will lead to better things or it's something you worked on over time. If this is a love offer, which it very well can be with the Ace of Cups, it might have started very passionate, very quickly. It might have, you know, moved very quickly, but there is stability at the same time. You know, that kind of energy. So we have Leo energy here with the Strength card. What's this about? Why is Strength here? Six of Wands. Oh my God, what is happening? Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength. Why is strength here? Page of Cups. 
Um, I feel like I should just end this reading here. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What is happening? Mm. I'm getting an energy of like you hanging out in a group or being in a group setting and someone notices you. This could be someone at work, at school, at, at um, some sort of gathering. They're interested in you right away. You could be dealing with an, uh, a Leo, a fire sign of some sort, but I'm getting that whoever this is, it's almost like, I don't wanna say a possessive energy, but it's like they want you and only you. What is happening? Very bold maybe in their approach or just like they they they're um, they know what they want and how to get it tell me about strength can i get one more for strength can you tell me about strength king of swords yeah i feel like you're going to be talking to someone and there's the chariot cancer energy the chariot is on the path to success they're moving quickly another card about moving quickly i think this is this for a lot of you this is someone new and it moves fast because they're not messing around king of swords page of cups not only are they interested in you emotionally but it's also very honest and open communication no bs here <clears throat> tell me about the four of swords Why is the Four of Swords here? Ah, oh, my cards. Why is the Four of Swords here? For Capricorn. The Moon, Pisces energy. Okay, someone's thinking, reflecting. Because there's doubts, insecurities, or something that they maybe don't have all the answers on. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Yeah, Seven of Cups. So I feel like when this comes in for you, Capricorn, you're going to be really thinking about it. It's not something that you want to jump on right away. For some reason, maybe you need more information or you're just unsure. A lot of you are wondering if this is too good to be true. Something has to be wrong with this person. <laughs> that kind of energy, you know, it's like, uh, this is moving very quickly, but also is very stable. What's the catch? That's why listening to your intuition is so important. That's why listening to your heart, your inner voice is so important here. You have to trust yourself at the same time. I feel like some of you have lost trust in your own judgment. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this Four of Swords? Ten of Swords. Mm. And the Ace of Wands. I mean, I keep getting this theme on like so many readings lately where multiple signs are evaluating offers or hesitating on making decisions because it requires an ending and, and it's almost like you cannot have the new beginning without this ending or this choice or decision has consequences that are as significant as you're ending something for good if that makes sense but the ace of wands is here i feel like um and this could be that you're leaving the past in the past this could be that you are ending a job, ending a relationship, ending a um, 